and welcome back. Uh, this video is about my last weekend's sailing with the kids. That's why I didn't film the sailing itself. I will add some photos in the end of that journey. But uh, it didn't go as planned. First of all, there is this trusty four-stroke Yamaha, four horsepower. Uh, I was supposed to use this engine to, you know, uh, land and disembark from the docks or whatever buoy spots. You know what I mean. But anyway, so this has been in a wrong position in my boat. So it had bleeded all its oils out and it was like massacre. So I thought, well, the problem isn't that bad. I still have the other Yamaha, the two-stroke version. And this purse like a kitten, no problems at all. Except for one small thing. As you can see, can anyone spot what is missing from this general area? Yeah, that happened. And those of you that didn't notice, I can show you. Just a moment, I'll get the cover open. Like so. Ooh, original Yamaha tool package. But yes, the gear lever broke. <laughs> and I was left with that dirty ass old Johnson two cylinder ugly engine that I have in my, one of my videos from la last year. But, and it was, well, there was no signal water or whatever you call it when it pisses away from here. That didn't come out and so on. It had major issues. And also this engine needs a new impeller too. So, yeah. And, well, uh, this is not my <coughs> engine. This is my friend's engine. That is my boss's engine. And in that cardboard box lies the new one. <coughs> this is by far the most expensive thing that I have bought for my boat. And <coughs> firstly, I need to make a disclaimer. I am not sponsored by that brand and I paid full, full money for this product. So this isn't a product endorsement. This is just my weapon of choice to sail safely and uh, motor around and you know all of that stuff. But let's get opening the box and see what's inside. I will zoom you guys in and then we shall continue. Let's see what's in the box. First of all, there is this new shiny engine. And as you can tell, it is the sail, 6 horsepower Sail Pro model. Since it has the long tail or rig or whatever you call it. And uh, the only thing that it, I ha uh, the only reason why I have opened this box was that the sales agency that sold this to me uh, put engine oil in it, checked the fluids, checked everything. It should be ready to go, except for the breaking in part. But 
yeah, let's dig around and see what we can find. <clears throat> First, you have the manual focus. Yeah, you have the manual, you have the service book. Uh, what the uh, warranty and service book. I had to think about that word. Then we have, of course, whenever there are boats, there are hose. So, <clears throat> this is the gas lead or hose for the uh, engine. I don't know if you guys, if this zooms in. These are the type of connectors that it has. And of course this snappy dab dab connector. Small tool, tool kit. That has. Let's see what it has inside. It's have one of these awesomely branded pliers, spark, uh, spark plug stuff, and spark plug stuff. Now you can see. Focus, you. But yeah, and a Phillips head screwdriver. These will all go into the nice little baggie, and this will go to the boat. Soon as I can fit all the stuff back inside. And of course, there is the owner's manual. This is a Spanish book that most people, uh, people don't think a lot. It is called uh, about a guy called Manuel. <laughs> but anyway, there is a spark plug and an emergency starting rope. This will go to the boat too. And, and then there is this wire. And the main purpose of this wire is, as you can see, it's pretty long, like so. Just a moment, I'll make sure that it gets nice and whatever you call it. But anyway, this end goes to the engine and this end goes to the battery of the boat. So I can use the engine to char charge my boat's batteries with uh, 3 to 4 amps of power while running the engine, which is awesome. I don't need to rely on my trusty solar panel. And of course then there is this box that has, just a moment, I'll take the knife and just a second, I'll get back to you, my phone is ringing. So now that the phone call is over, I will open this back, uh, whatever you call it. And Rick Laporte, if you are watching, I have something made in Canada on my boat. Yeah, basically, I paid 1500 euros for 
an empty box. Well, not really. Uh, 10 liter can, gas can, which has the quick release valve for the hose. Yeah, now I will extract the engine and put it on stand and bring you by, uh, guys back after that. So the main difference between this engine and those older ones are that you can see the propeller is about 10 to 15 centimeters of ground. I will zoom it in and set you guys like so. Well, I will just show you how to try to look for a, me a tape measure, but no go on that. So, this is about that much of the ground. And when you compare it to the Tohatsu engine, you can see the fin Hello, the propeller is touching the floor, so this is that much longer, which is always a good thing. And there might be some shmoo left on the engine. Not anymore. But yeah. Let's go to the front of the engine and see how it looks like. There may be a better video on the internet about this engine. And I don't blame you for watching that. But yeah, uh, I like this stiff control arm. You can set it in the place where you like it and I will set the camera a little bit further and my phone is ringing again so I'll get back to you <coughs> so where was <laughs> it's funny when I'm trying to film something everybody calls me at the same time so but basically just a moment. Arr, that sound. My new engine gets scratches. Oh no. And <clears throat> well, here is the fuel connector. The gas tank connects to here. Kill switch. Gears. Joke. I don't know if you guys can see, but joke is over here. So, and the, the throttle is here. So basically I can just mount this on the boat and get the uh, engine going straight with the boat line, you know, just a moment after. If this is boat and this is engine, so I can make them be aligned and then I can lock it in, in place and then just press uh, reverse or forwards and I like this setup since this is handy it, you don't have to reach over here somewhere and try to fiddle it out in the middle of the uh, let's say storm or something and uh, stay out of the boat but yeah and what else the, uh, I don't want to move the engine now, but here are the wires somewhere around there, two of those, and they are just quick connected uh, crimp wires. I will probably put some heat shrink over it, but there, that's how you charge the engine. Starting lever and yeah. Uh, one of the things in this engine 
that I love is that it has six ho horsepowers. That is two horsepowers more than my previous engines had. And compared to uh, one of those previous videos where I showed you the Johnson two-cylinder engine that is now going in the bin. Insert Mighty Car Mods thing over here somewhere. <laughs> no, But uh, anyway... Uh, yeah, uh, that engine was junk. That was so junk that nobody could be, couldn't believe. When I pressed it on full speed, it was something like three knots. And mm, yeah, it didn't run so well under load. So I will probably just give it away or throw it away or do something nasty about it. But yeah, let's get to the business side of things. Not my face. My face is not why you guys are here. So, oils, electric, spark plug. Uh, this is a one cylinder engine. And uh, what else? Oh. Oh, look at it, it's so shiny. It hasn't been started ever at this point of life. It has full, full warranty and yeah, I'm happy. Uh, if you guys want to know more about this engine and have any questions at all, this is the, how do you say it, hood for the engine, just a moment. Oh, I can immediately spot a few inconveniences is that this starting lever thingy doesn't line up without manual orientation and, yeah. and so if you guys wanna know anything ask me I will answer you in the comments or I can make a separate video about that and there will be another video where I break this in uh, I don't know how do you say it Prop uh, properly but you know when you get a new engine you have to run it for a while at certain RPMs for certain times and so on and that will be another video as well as installing the engine and installing the charging wire that wire part won't be as pretty as this but yeah so once again thanks for watching it's been a fun talking to the camera once again and sorry for not making any sailing content uh, we have had some family crisis my ex-wife is in the hospital nothing serious anymore it's under control but I have had my kids for this summer, so most of my time has gone with them. And yeah. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Watch Project Proofback, Sailing River Song, A Lady Do Build, SV Seeker, of course, uh, Building Shikon you know Ricardo Laporte from Canada, Canada and of course not to mention Ross Portman from uh, that oh, Life on the Halls <laughs> uh, sorry I had a brain fart I had to think about the channel name but yeah and I am not going to do these shout outs every video but this just popped into mind and I thought you guys want to like watching them.